Welcome, old friends and new, to the Bring Your Own Grief Network and a special episode, Daily Inspirations. Our existence on earth is not infinite. Shortly after the first breath of life came to mankind, so too did the ultimate reality of losing someone loved deeply. Mourning and grief, therefore, are as old as life itself and have been the impassioned topic of many well-known philosophers, scholars, poets, prophets, playwrights, and many more over the centuries. Well, I'd like to share my favorite pieces of these works here with you today. One inspiration, one episode for each day of the year. Each remains in my cherished collection and continues to help me on my painful journey towards hope and healing. So join me now, please, as I present to you today's daily inspiration. I do hope that perhaps it might serve you as it has me. January 2nd. The holidays are quickly moving behind us, you and I. And we all know what a trigger holidays, birthdays, and even songs on the radio can be for us. And I'm honored you're here to travel a little further down our healing journey with me. It's always nice when there are hands of support coming from all directions. Today's daily inspiration is one from Blaise Pascal. Among other things, French scientist, Christian philosopher, writer, and widowed father of three, losing his wife in the year 1636. His personal pains and experiences gave the world and me the following to consider. He wrote, The immortality of the soul is a matter which is of so great consequence to us and which touches us so profoundly that we must have lost all feeling to be indifferent about it. Immortality, Pascal writes of. Immortal, to live forever. The immortality of the soul is of so great consequence, says he. Pascal, who must have been one of the earliest scientists to acknowledge that a higher power is in control and not just the laws of nature, reminds us that our loved ones still exist. Maybe not where we want them, but they carry on, and that gives me great comfort. Further, he shares in his words that it is the loss of a loved one which brings on what he deems so consequential and touches us so profoundly that we cannot be indifferent or, or simply not care either way. It is the pain of loss that forges the griever's mind and over time for some to understand that the soul of our lost loved one yet exists, lives on. We can no longer be indifferent to that. We acknowledge the immortality over time. I will always believe that it is the immortal soul of my late son, Jonathan, who inspires me to move forward with hope towards healing. It's a wonderful thought knowing I move forward while never leaving him behind, although yes, I do wish he was still here today on earth walking beside me. It's a shame we only lose indifference when we have no reason to. But let's not take each other for granted. So that's today's daily inspiration and my thoughts. But you know, as well as I do, we are all as unique as snowflakes and fingerprints, aren't we? You may well take the words differently and I ask, I welcome and would love to have you leave your unique understanding of the words we shared together in the comment section below this YouTube video. Please do. I welcome the conversation, the chance to start a dialogue and get to know the thoughts of my fellow grievers and maybe maybe travel a little farther myself down the path of hope and healing. If you found value in this daily inspiration, please like it here on YouTube and share it with others. Share it with those you feel could use a hand to hold on to. And please subscribe to the BYOG Network YouTube channel. The more likes, shares, and subscribers we have, the easier it is for other bereaved souls to find help in their search. So thank you for spending this time of healing with me. No, I am so very sorry for your loss, as I know you are mine. I am Mark Lynn Kelly. May you find peace and purpose. Thank you.